My name is Harveys, and welcome to the cruel world that is Solo Rust. I loaded into this highly populated official server shortly after Force Wipe, and being a Friday morning for me living in Australia, I had about two hours to try and get inland to establish a small starter base before I had to head out to work for the day. Unfortunately, the first few hours of this recording corrupted, but you don't want to see that struggle anyway. Or, I don't know, maybe you do, if that's what you're into. <laughs> so this story begins from a 2x1 starter base, slightly inland amongst a grassy mountaintop forest. Okay, let's go check out Oxens. Might actually make it tier one. Maybe make it a little crossy or something. I don't have any rope. Don't worry about it. Holy shit. All right, let's go for a little run. I really need to find my base location for my main base. Good. What do you mean? One dude has a bow, the other one's got an AK. actually huge. <laughs> I really need these comps though. And that metal pick's pretty good though. Yeah, let's go for another run. Take my last, my last bow out. I can make that a uh, crossy now, though. Finally, get the tier one down. Holy, it's a big base. I think this could be pretty cool. Really? Let's see how close I can build here. So we're going to need one more double door to start off with. Ooh. Oh man, we almost ran out of stone. Other than some recording issues, I'd had a smooth run. 
After scoping out a place to build my main base, I decided that the grassy hill directly to my south would actually be a pretty cool location. Plus, it was only a short run from my starter, so I was much less likely to die while transporting my loot. The base I was building today was quite unique and had some awesome bunkers incorporated into the design. What I'd soon work out though is that this little wooden 2x1 next to me would actually overlap the building privilege I needed for one of the bunkers, so I'd have to find a way of getting rid of it. Okay, let's move like most of the stuff, I guess. Put on my best kit. <laughs> Oh man, if I die with this. Ooh, nice one. Let's get some furnaces. Uh, I gotta do a farm, but I'll get this furnace cooking. And then I'm gonna make some coffee. So this base is going to be pretty cool. I really like should have checked the, the um, pixel gap works, but I'm confident. I'm confident. I mean, it looks like a pixel gap. Can go there for now. I guess we should really just check that this this works before I try and seal up the base this here for now it's gonna have to move but it's fine maybe a couple of furnaces there too oh my god oh man I actually need that so bad it's exactly what I needed to get rid of that little wooden base uh, please let me get home Yes. Yes. Oh man, that's so lucky. The planter box is pretty handy too, really. Getting a little hemp farm going. Uh, and actually, I really want to make sure that this bunker works, so I know this is a massive waste, but... Such a waste. Okay, so it can be done. So it's a little bit awkward. All right, we got like 45 minutes to grind out some farming and building, hopefully. And then I'm going out to Brecky. Man, I'm so like, so busy these days. So yeah, to make this base like what I want it to be, what do I need? I need garage door. It's probably the main, like the main thing really. Garage door. And I need to research this molly so I can get rid of that little base. So we're gonna need some, some scrap. Oh, the other thing I need is a locker, actually. I need to find a locker. We gotta get to work, man. Oh, it feels so good farming with a metal pick, finally. Finally, dude. Oh yeah, there's actually there's actually quite a few nodes around here. I guess because it's like how many players there are. <laughs> There'll be nodes everywhere. Man, playing like playing official vanilla servers is is so hard, like when you're solo. But I feel like it's so rewarding too. Like when I found that Molly, that was like pure elation, you know. I feel like you don't get that same feeling if you play on like a modded server. I don't know. I just like I like the feel. I like the grind of the uh, vanilla servers, you know where it's really hard to achieve anything. <laughs> well, for me anyway. There were a bunch of nodes near my base, so I took advantage and went straight back out for a farm. I was really keen to honeycomb the base and hopefully add a second floor before I had to log off. Oh man, I love this game. I actually love this game so much. When you when you really get stuck into it and like have a, have a decent run, it's just so enjoyable. It's so chill. Well, I mean like sometimes it's so chill. <laughs> But nah, there's something, there's something special about playing Rust as a solo, I feel. There's something therapeutic about it.
Sweet. Okay. Time for a little comps run. Which way to go though? I think back like down near Harbour and um, Lighthouse seem to be the way to go. Just because of how busy like Oxum's is so crazily contested right now. And didn't bring my rain jacket. Oh, ladder. Shit, I should go home. Yeah, let's loop back around. Yeah, we're going home. After this last loop pile. <laughs> oh man, just keeps going. Fire out, man. Like, you can actually get comps so fast on the road. Yeah, is that like a tree base? <laughs> That's sick. And yeah, we're making like, making some pretty decent progress now. I mean, I I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed about my recording, like the first couple hours of the wipe. Just the recording was all glitchy. I couldn't really use it to edit. Like, but you guys would have seen. <laughs> it was, it was a fairly difficult start for me, which is kind of like on trend. Still getting used to how to how to get started well on PC. Love how we have that little the little tree inside our base for a rainy day. When times are tough, we'll resort to farming that tree. Check out Oxum's just as it goes night time, and then I gotta head off for a little bit, only like an hour or two. And when we come back, we're gonna be expanding the base, getting our little little horse stables up, which is attached to the side of the base, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a little high qual. Yeah, I feel like in the future, like what what I've done wrong this wipe is I put my starter base a little bit too far away from somewhere to get comps like these guys have the right idea putting a little two by one pretty close proximity to like oxums i think that's the way to do it note taken for next next wipe but you know i, I feel like we're you know, holding our own currently <laughs> haven't really had any like many fights but but yeah we're surviving which is kind of the the whole point right Alrighty, i gotta jump off for a little bit so yeah pretty keen to get back and start expanding this base a little bit towards its final form, which is a pretty, pretty sweet base, really. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. All right. I'm back. It's night time as usual. Alright, we got some expanding to do. Back on the old candle hat. I'm gonna have to leave this here open, but we can fill in the rest. Get that comfort up. We'll just heal up for a sec and then we're gonna head out for a little farm. Actually, I should go for a little comps run. go for a run over towards like ranch get a bag down there maybe even depending on how we go scrap wise might even be able to buy a horse and bring him home
Oh man, that's my neighbor, I think. <laughs> Probably not the smartest move. ugly right now. That's cool. Just gonna fill in a bit of the honeycomb. Hey, brother. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Can I help you, Hello. brother? Up, up. Up. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Me too. Why are you so rude? Bye-bye. <laughs> That's fucking cooked, man. Bro. <laughs> this guy, man. All right, we got a little bit of organization. I mean, we don't really have enough loot to organize. I've worked out. <laughs> need some nodes we need quite a bit of stone well actually not really that much stone but we need we need a bit so many nodes <laughs> oh my god this is crappy oh no oh no <laughs> fuck it up Not sure how long it'll be until I get a ladder hatch, so I'm just gonna use like a furnace or something for jump up at the moment. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's coming together. I love how this tree is just like sitting in the middle of my house. <laughs> Wooden window bars, that's outrageous. Done. And a door. We're up here and then we're sealed in. Hell yeah. Must be another little drop box like loot storage here. This will be the jump up to the roof. And then we've got our little like wrap around. This will be maybe vending machine, storage, but the 
tier two or tier three will go here. Nice, man. Coming along. Maybe we'll head to like check out Satellite, actually. I'll take a fuse and a green card because I got plenty of green cards. You never know, we might get lucky. It's probably going to be pretty heavily contested, but. I'm so dead. Uh, well, there's Satellite. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sats. Okay, we've been talking about it for a long time. Finally going to get myself a horse. Because I want to do some runs to outpost and stuff. For some recycling and um, to trade for some wood. Because I'm kind of sick of farming wood. Adding a horse to the situation would be pretty huge for me. I didn't really have a safe place to recycle and was getting tired of farming wood. Plus I wanted to keep the forest around my base for maximum vibes. I attached a small stable to the side of my base and started making my way towards the ranch. Oh my god, man. So mean. Yeah, the panic. Trying to get my, my doors on. I think we're gonna not have this as a door. <laughs> Let's seal up the horse stable and then actually go and get our horse. Thank you, Khan, sir. 54k, that's pretty good, isn't it? Oh man, it's actually so much further than I thought it was to get home. Holy! Fucking zooming. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous. I haven't really been to Outburst, so I don't really know what the base is like around the... what the path's like. How to get there. Take the crude. A little bit of wood. I'm actually so nervous. Good luck! Hey, brother. Thank you! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that guy had killed me with that combo. I actually would have cried, I think. made it. Ah, uh, man, it feels nice. Getting home safely. That's a decent amount of scrap too. It's not a bad little run really along the train line. After a smooth run, I knew that trading for Wooda Outpost would be a great option also. Okay, let's head back to Outpost and trade for some woods. odds. What are the odds? That is so demoralizing. Oof. That's a lot of stone to lose. <laughs> Two rows of stone. Gone just like that. It's crazy. Hey, what does it cost to craft a molly? Let's have a look. Because I really want to get rid of that base, like next door to us, so I can do the offset bunker. Let me guess it's tier 2. It sure is. 
sadly the tree is going to have to go. That's where the tier 2 is going. That's all I needed for TC. <laughs> Not mad about it. Gaining tool cupboard access to this small wooden base next to me meant that I could now add the offset bunker to this base design, which would make this solo base a surprisingly expensive raid once finished. Hell yeah, the bunker's working. It was getting late for me, so I sealed up the bunker and logged off for the night. Plan for the following day would be to get a garage door and also a locker so that I could add the final bunker to this base design. I don't know, I don't know if we would have survived overnight. Not sure, didn't get the compound down, didn't get my pixel gap bunker finished for the TC, so I, I don't know, man. Hey. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, let's go. Sadly, I think my horse is definitely dead. Let's go have a look. Can't hear him in there anymore. No, dude. <laughs> no. Priority really has to be scrap. Really needs scrap. Gonna try and get the garage doors down, get the uh, high external wooden wall BP, and I need the locker so I can finish off my pixel gap <laughs> blue room. <laughs> I was definitely struggling to obtain components and scrap. The runs from Oxums and looting barrel spawns just weren't cutting it. So I decided to set up a one by one closer to Oxums to speed up the process. And then I headed over to Harbor to check out the train tunnels. Go check out that train tunnels over here. Do something a bit different. See if we can get some comps that way. Jesus. Something tells me my horse is not gonna be there when I get back. Ed pen? <laughs> I don't even have one of those, it's kind of huge. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, we gotta get out of here. It's probably gonna be easier said than done, I think. <laughs> oh man, I, I can't see myself getting home. <laughs> I can't see myself getting home. So much fighting around. I had lost my horse again, but I made it over to Fishing Village and waited for the cover of night to make the run back to my base. I really needed the scrap and components I got from the tunnels, so I was kind of stressed. Okay, let's try and get home. Damn it, dude. That's an Oxums, which is like between me and my base. Jesus. No way. 
<laughs> no way. Uh, I thought I was definitely not gonna make that. Got the mixing table. It's pretty handy. See how far down the tech tree we can get. Okay. We're close, man. We're close. turret let's go dude auto turret is so good pretty keen to set up electricity i'm a little bit sad though that i haven't found like a weapon out of that mil like the milli crate there i feel like i've looted it quite a bit <laughs> yes. i thought it was 125 Ah, finally, man. Eight garage doors. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> ah, it's so much better. It's just so much better. <laughs> now I can make the, uh... Strengthen windows as well. So, where are these farming teas? Wood tea, red and blueberries. Ah, the base is finally coming along, man. It's finally coming along. I just need that locker. How are we looking? Three, still 350. Dude, I might just try and get some bags down near Bandit. See if I can spawn there, find 40 scrap. That might actually be enough to buy the locker and research it, finally. Finally. Took so long. Another surprising safe return home. All right, let's, uh, now that we've finally got the locker, BP, we can finally seal up the bunker. <laughs> it's taken so long. <laughs> it's taken so long, dude. And we're getting some electricity set up soon as well. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna seal this up. Alright, let's test it out. While I'm in here, I might as well upgrade. 
I need to. So I can't upgrade this, unfortunately, because of the pixel gap, but we'll upgrade the rest. Hell yeah. Now the moment of truth to see if it works. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good. All right. Finally, the tool cupboard bunker was finished. This meant that I could now depot resources through the pixel gap into the tool cupboard, but also transfer my higher tier loot via the locker into this small wooden box, which would be pretty annoying for raiders. And that was enough for me. So good, man. All right, well, let's do some storage organization here. Real quick. Oh yeah. Man, what a cool like what a cool spot. So scenic man. I gotta have a break for a bit. When we return, the plan is to get the try and get the compound down. Put down a little maybe a little external TC. That's the plan. I wasn't recording, but I just found my external wooden wall. Let's go. It's been a fun couple days, man. It's been a really fun couple days. I kind of forgot how hard it was to progress as a solo on Vanilla Rust. <laughs> It's really hard, man. I barely got to the point of like getting a weapon and PvPing, but it's been a really good time. I've really enjoyed it. That's kind of bad. We've got a compound to build today. Let's go, dude. Now we're going to need a lot of wooden walls. Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it does the job. 
Hell yeah, good little compound. There's the job. Let's try our luck over it. Satellite dish. Bad little run, 100 ish scrap after recycling those comps. After that run, I had to call it for the night. So I filled up my TC bunker with my best loot, sealed up the offset bunker, and logged off. I didn't know it at the time, but sadly, I wouldn't get the chance to play any more this wipe. But I had a great time chilling, struggling, and trying to make it as a solo on Vanilla Main. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to sharing my next solo adventure with you. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you next time.